E aí galera, tudo bem? Estamos aqui de novo apresentando mais o um vídeo do Digital Combat Simulation FA18 Hornet Nosso DCS World pessoal Eu achei mais esse vídeo na internet sobre a apresentação do FA18C na E3 2017 Por isso estou postando Eu coloquei ele com as legendas do YouTube Para aqueles que não gostarem da legenda, por favor, leia a descrição que lá irá encontrar o link do vídeo original Digital Combat Simulation FA18C Hornet Apresentação pessoal Leia aí que essa reportagem aqui desse vídeo é muito importante Valeu! 3 only on the Be Terrific Network Hey everyone, Alison Berger here And we are continuing our live coverage from E3 Day 2 And I am now here with Matt Wagner from Eagle Dynamics How are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks Alison How's E3 been for you so far? It's been busy, but really good yeah. It's uh, their debut, first time the public has seen our new product of DCS F-18C Hornets How exciting! What's the reaction been so far? It's been extremely positive. Um, you know, there's been a lot of buzz in the flight sim community about this product for literally two or three years now. And people have been chomping at the bit to see it for the first time. And here at the Swatchmaster booth, they're having an opportunity. And even to do so in VR, which really makes it shine. How exciting. Did you ever think you would get to a VR part time? No, I, gaming? I remember years ago looking at some of the initial VR offerings and just thinking the technology just wasn't there yet, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if that had ever happened. But, you know, between the Oculus and the Vive now, we really are there, and it just brings a whole new dimension to flight simulators uh, like DCS World. We made it. We did. We finally made it. Took a little bit before we got time. here. Absolutely. How exciting. So you also have a partnership with Thrustmaster, we and we are in their booth right now. So uh -huh. tell me a little bit about that partnership. So actually, our partner partnership dates back to an earlier product we had called uh, A10C Warthog, which is the uh, Warthog with the big 30 millimeter cannon, which a lot of people may be familiar with. And we also did a simulator for the Air Force as well. So Thrustmaster knew we were working on this uh, simulator, and they really wanted to do a new HOTAS system. I thought, well, we need to find a great piece of software to pair with the hardware. So they contacted me and said, well, that sounds like a wonderful idea. And the rest has been history. <laughs> so we have Rory sitting behind us. Can you tell us a little about the controllers that he's working with? Right. So he's using the uh, Warthog controllers I just referred to, which is for the A10C. So there's a, a stick and a throttle system, all the buttons, all the switches, just like the real thing. But the real exciting news, particularly for this E3, is even further behind me, uh, Thrustmaster is debuting their, actually, uh, their F-18 stick, which will pair with our Hornet. Okay. So in many ways, uh, we really uh, had great success with the Warthog uh, cooperation years ago. And now we're going to try to you know, capture that lightning in a bottle a second time with the Hornet. How exciting. So what consoles do your, does Thrustmaster work best with? Uh, it's only a PC. Well, for, for, uh, for uh, DCS, is a PC-only title. Okay. Yes. And what about what, what Rory's playing right now? So he's on a uh, PC, uh, pretty high-end, right, in Alienware, uh, like a 66700 uh, 66, with a 1080 uh, graphics card. So it's a pretty high-end system. Uh, but for the level of detail we do and the very high frame rate support VR, it's nice to have that higher system to give that little extra oomph. Right. to really uh, sell that experience of simulation. What, what does it take to get to that level? Like, What's involved in the background of making these products and making the controllers to get to that high level? Well, I can only speak for the software, but there's sure. a lot of broad sweat and tears in the software, as you might imagine. You know, for the Hornet, for example, it's literally years of research first, uh, finding the subject matter experts, the documentation, to actually build the framework, to actually build the design. Then it's developing all new technologies, uh, so like air-to-ground radar and such. And then there's the, the whole process of developing the flight models, developing all the, the 3D artwork and textures and, and such, and then all the subsystems. So doing a sy uh, simulation at this level is just a monumental amount of work. And the nice thing is after you know, literally two or three years, we're finally at the level now, we're actually getting people uh, to see it. Very yeah. excited. I mean, you have a line here. We do. It's pretty incredible. We are. So tell me, can we talk about the game and more about Hornet that um, Rory's playing right now? Right, so the F-18C Hornet in particular is a, a design back in the 1970s, competed with the F-16. It's a true multi-role aircraft, meaning it does both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground equally well. Um, now the really thing about the Hornet is it operates from aircraft carriers. 
So a key aspect of our game will be not just you know, take off and landing from your huge runways, but also doing operations from aircraft carriers. So you take off from your aircraft carrier, you can you know, go dogfight a MiG, and then go along and then you know, drop a bomb on a target. And then you fly back and land on the carrier. <laughs> How fun. Very fun. So are you finding that not only gamers playing the simulations game, are you having seeing actual pilots using the, the games to improve their Very skills? Very much. So uh, actually several of my contacts that I've used as subject matter experts to work on the Hornet first got involved with DCS from our earlier products and they liked it so much, they reached out and said, hey Matt, uh, I actually fly these aircraft for a living, do you need any help? I said, absolutely. So we've been using them as essentially kind of touchstones to make sure you know the aircraft flies just like a real Hornet would, the systems act like a real Hornet would. Right. So you know, by the time we're done, we really want someone who who masters this simulation to be able to jump in a real Hornet and be able to do the exact same thing. How excited! I don't know if I would trust having Rory though flying my actual plane. You know, I don't know how great he's doing. He looks like he's about to crash well, he right now. Crash. That's a good sign. Not yet. Not yet. I don't know. I don't, I'm glad he can't really hear what we're saying. Good thing. It's always fun to make fun of make fun of Rory, especially yeah. when he's gaming and he has no idea what's going on. And then we'll tell him after the fact that it'll just be a great time. <laughs> no, you can watch it later in the video. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So I know you told me about the exciting launch that's been happening at E3. Anything else to come for Thrustmaster and Eagle Dynamics? Uh, nothing we can announce yet. Oh. But this is really the big news. Suspense, Matt. I don't understand. I come here to get the nitty gritty details and no one tells me anything. It's a team effort. <laughs> so you all conjured all this are. up and said, don't talk to Allison Berger, Absolutely. don't give her any details. We had a big meeting ahead of E3. <laughs> I don't like that game. I don't like it at all. I did get a release date from one person this morning, though. For the Hornets? For, no, for their own video game. Oh, there you go. Yeah. You're very lucky then. I, I pulled my strings. You won't be getting one here, though. Oh, Matt! <laughs> Not fair. No. So I think we should interrupt Rory. Okay. Right? And should we scare him? Sure. How should we do it? Oh, he heard me. Okay, he sure. heard me. All right, Rory, we're ready to hear about your experience. How should he pause this, Matt? How was it? It's amazing. Uh, the uh, the response from the controls are so cool, especially when you're wearing the VR and you look down, and the the yoke is moving in the game as you move the yoke on the controls, and uh, same with the throttle response. Everything's really cool, and it's so responsive. The the uh, the plane, as soon as I I moved the stick, the the plane reacted, and it was really interesting. It was really. Do cool. you think you can fly a real plane now? Um, I don't think I would try those maneuvers I was trying in a real plane, but I probably, you know, maybe with an instructor next to me, I, I would feel comfortable, yeah, but... I wouldn't. No. You get in the back and... Sure, we'll do it. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Yeah, I, tried to, I tried to do a loop, but I ended up getting twisted around. I recovered, but I did a few barrel rolls. I skimmed the ground upside down. It's, um, it was pretty quick and easy to, to feel the controls and get, get a handle on how it worked. It was, uh, it was really good. Did you do you feel like lightheaded or do you feel like you were went kind of loopy? Well, yeah, in VR definitely gets you a little bit. Uh, the cool part was the sensations, like when you pull back on the throttle. Like I felt like when I was pulling back, I felt like my stomach sank, like I was really doing it in the air for a second. So it was. Oh, that's a cool thing, Matt. Do you try to um, get that effect? To feel like you're, I know that's part of the VR experience, but did he describe that well, that, you know, you just... I think it's a big part of the VR experience, but also having uh, the flight modeling that kind of mimics how the aircraft should really fly, the sense of inertia, sense of speed, uh, really gives that uh, uh, immersion even that much further credence. Have you gotten the same type of feeling? You're probably a better pilot than Rory. <laughs> it kind of doesn't affect me, but yeah, yeah I think first time experience, you kind of get that feeling. And I've had several people say, wow, this felt, felt like the first time I was up in a Cessna or something like that, or that kind of first time flying feeling. How cool. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to try it next too. Absolutely. But thanks so much, Matt. You're welcome. We're going to have to jet set out of here now because there's still so much more to see and it's only day two of E3. So stay tuned on Be Terrific. Don't go anywhere. You guys are the terrific. Live from Los Angeles, Beat Terrific shines the Beat Terrific spotlight on E3, only on the Beat Terrific Network.